Yo, okay. So, plan for today is, um, so yeah. So if you guys see, don't worry, don't look at this. It's just, I got my wisdom tooth taken out and it got infected a bit. So that's why it's a bit swollen. Just, just ignore that. Um, so today's plan is to look for mushrooms. Now, right now I'm just looking for a good, uh, stick that I can use to poke around in the, in the grass but there's not many okay let I me mean, I'm gonna sit on this trunk over here and I'll show you guys all the equipment I'll be bringing all right so I'm I'm just sitting on a fallen down trunk so first let me tell you guys where I am I'm in the region of Veneto in Italy like around, I'm close to the Alps, kind of. The Alps are up that way. But let me show you guys what I've got. So in this first pocket, I've just got a mushroom knife to measure it. And then this is the clean. Let me open it. And that's just the knife. I've got that. Nothing else in that one. And then the main, I've got just a normal pack with some stuff, you know, an extra so a Swiss Army knife, a lighter, band-aids, etc., some gum, and then I've got a portable, I've got a portable charger, because my phone's pretty low, actually, I should have charged this, and then two bags, it looks like one, but there's another one in there. One bag is for mushrooms that I don't know what they are that I put in so then I can bring them home and uh, identify them. And then the other bag is for edible. So like if I find any porcini, um, finfirli, chiodini, mazza di tamburi. I'll put all those names in English in the subtitle. But those will be going in the other bag. And then I've just got my wallet. And then in this little pocket right here, I've got... Just a book about all the mushrooms and everything here in Italy. And then I've got a map. Let me show you guys the route I'm gonna be taking. Okay, so I prop I put the map on the trunk I was just sitting on. So right now I am on number 531. I'm on this one. I just got in here. I'm I'm in this town right here. I'm like probably somewhere around here. So I know a couple spots where there's mushrooms. There's mushrooms in this area. And then there's mushrooms here, right there. So, but they're not edible, I already know. I've already looked at them, but well, I'll pass by just to show you guys. And then my plan is, is to continue till here. And then uh, we'll, I'll decide from there. It is kind of late, so I don't know how long I'll be out. But I will be out tomorrow morning, also. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be kind of going off the path for now. Just while I look. But right now I'm going in the direction of the mushrooms I've already, I already know are there. It's just that um, they're not edible, but I'll, I'll show you guys anyways. Just to show you guys. Okay, so right now I'm on a on a little bridge that is where is in the direction of the other mushrooms that I already know are there. They're not edible or anything, or else I've already taken them. Anyways, I'll pull one up so you guys can see it better. Okay, so here's the mushrooms. I've already asked my grandpa and everything. He's, he knows a lot about mushrooms. He said those aren't edible. I'll put the name down. In the I'll put the name down below for you guys. There's more down there. Let me take this big one out. This would be hard doing one handed. Hold up. Okay. Right. So let me take I'm gonna take this one out. There's plenty anyways and I'll clean it off so the spores are able to move around. I kind of broke it, but I have to see where I'm cutting. I don't want to cut the smaller one. Okay, yeah. I did a horrible job of cutting it, but I'm just, I'm not going to eat. I'm just doing it to show you guys. 
So, this is the mushroom. Let me set it down here. Let me just get some of this dirt off. Okay. So, this is the mushroom. It's white. Kind of like an indent. Kind of looks, I don't know if it's an oyster mushroom or anything. Look, kind of looks like it, but just <coughs> throw that over there. And we'll move on. I think I think I know where there's some down here. Oh wait. Look at that little mushroom. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go down there and see if there's any. Okay, so it's been five minutes from those other mushrooms and right now I'm kind of following this old stone wall. Um, I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for. I would like to get either porcini, finfirli. Fin fin finfirli, I know that they like the sun. So right here is not a very good spot. Uh, and then mazzi di tamburo. But those, I don't... I've seen a couple, but I wasn't really mushroom hunting so I didn't take them but I'm gonna continue along here just going back and forth seeing if I can find a, a mushroom but I'll get back to you guys once I find one okay so this is another mushroom I've seen I, I saw this earlier today this is my second today my second time today mushroom hunting and it's pretty big compared to my hands, not that big. But you know, it's got gills underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Still no sign of anything good. Um so I'm thinking I'm going to um so So I've seen some people like people that live next to me that come out with Kyodini. which are kind of these like little mushrooms that grow in clumps so in my book that I've got here I'm gonna try to figure out where they are like where do I need to look that kind of stuff and my backpack though pulled up Let me go to the index. Okay. So okay, so it just grows on trunks, which makes sense because they're they're they anchor themselves to the trunk. And yeah. That's all I can really read or like understand. So I guess I'll just keep a lookout for trunks. Uh, I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go up behind me and uh, up there to see if there's any trunks if not i'll probably just head down and continue up the path i don't know we'll see literally not even five steps to where i was sitting there's some rotten mushrooms I, I, they're too rotten for me to tell what they are all right so i'm heading uphill and I just spotted this mushroom. It's a bit chewed up. I'm not gonna take it, I'm just gonna leave. I don't even know what it is. So I'll just leave it. I'm gonna continue upwards. So I just uh, found another mushroom, this one. I will cut it. I just, I'm not sure what it is. So it's gonna go into the, to the bat, into the bag that I don't know. Oh. 
Okay. Perfect. Come. And yeah, this will go in the bag and I'll continue upwards. No luck yet with edible mushrooms. A lot of mushrooms that I just don't know what they are. I'm not really worried about those. Um, so right now I'm like, uh, I don't know how steep that looks. It doesn't look very steep on in person. It's super steep. I'm gonna go up and down here and if I don't find anything, I think I'm gonna go home. I'll probably be, uh, I'll probably be back here tomorrow morning. I'll probably come with my dad. So just we have more eyes on the ground. But yeah, I'll let you guys know if I find anything. So I think this might be a, a, a um, porcino. There's some other ones here. Yeah, that's all I see for now, but I'm gonna keep heading up. But I'm gonna get those two. So I'm on my way back now. I really hope that, I think it's a porcini. I think it's a black porcini, actually. I really hope it didn't get uh, all destroyed because I had to slide down a hill to get back, but this is the path to get back to my place. So I'll meet you guys there. So I got all the mushrooms out. I have these, a couple of these ones, and I'm not gonna, I, I don't know what they are. I might try to identify them later. This one I found before, this is my second one. This one I thought was a porcini, but has gills, so it can't be. But then this, I think it's a porcini estivo, which I don't know what it is in English, but look, no gills. So that's, so I think it might be it. I'm gonna ask my grandpa though.